everyone, welcome to my May plan with me. Starting off, I will just flip through April to show you what it ended up looking like. Um, a lot of it is not finished, A because I'm in a slump and B because the end of the month isn't here yet. This is going to be more of a time lapse video. If you like my explanation plan with me, let me know if you like this one better. Please let me know. I want to know which ones you guys get more out of. I enjoy doing either, so really up to you guys which ones you want to see. I loved April. This helped me out so much. It was so nice to see how each of my days were going to plan out and I loved the style I found, but I found out that school kind of dictates what my months look like and I'm a little nervous to see how my adult life is going to need my bullet journal to look like. So as you can see, I did a planning for May spread. You can see this spread up close on my Instagram and I love doing those pages. It's so helpful. So this little wreath was inspired on Instagram by creative underscore planner underscore ideas. I'll put links below to all these people I mentioned. I've had a lot of inspiration for this month from a lot of different people. So there's in my opinion, turned out a lot better than mine. <laughs> I've never done a wreath kind of thing like that. Um, I've just done like circles and stuff for it. This monthly spread dashboard thing was sort of inspired by Bite the Bullet Joe. Um, mainly just because of the more square mini calendar. And then having the goals and um, upcoming for the next month. That's mainly where I got the inspiration from. Everything else I just sort of added in to see if it would help me or not. The time log and self-care tracker look about the same as they did in April. I just tweaked the colors a little bit. I went back to my red, orange, green, and blue self-care tracker rather than um, the other colors I used for April because I wasn't really seeing the differences as much as I did whenever I used those other colors. My habit tracker looks a lot different. This is actually inspired by Planning with Kay. Um, her, I love the chubby, <laughs> what I call chubby mini calendars because I just think they're cute and it's just so much easier to see different uh, correlations. And that was inspired by her. She has like two or three, I think, that she tracks. And I found that I don't track everything I would put on my habit trackers. So that's why I only have three now. I'm going to try out the gratitude tracker again. Just because I went through a slump in this month and I want to get the full impact of the gratitude tracker. I really like these headers. I came up with those myself. I was pretty proud of myself. Um, and these are... This is one of what I would call an experimental um, spread. It's also inspired by Planning with Kay. She did a weekly with um, the work, school, or I think school and just personal, I think is what she did, but I put personal work in school um, for these. I've never done that before. I've seen it elsewhere, but I never really like tried it because <laughs> I didn't think it would work for me. Um, but this month I'm trying it and what I like to do for my experimental months is I will have, you know, my experimental ones, but then I'll have familiar spreads in between. So um, after this graduation day spread, which is just going to be a whole daily for that day, um, I'm going to need to know where I need to be that day. And I just wanted a full page for it. Plus an artsy page is fun. Anyways, but for this spread... Um, it's a familiar one. It looks just like the ones I had in April that I knew worked for me. And whenever I'm experimenting, I don't like to just go full on experimental. I figured that out after March. <laughs> um, I felt so disorganized in March and it was because a lot of the spreads that I made did not actually end up working for me. And some I found out right after I made them, some I found out later on. Um, but I like having familiar spreads in my month that I do a lot of experimenting with because it just, I want some sort of familiarity between the weeks that I have experimental spreads because I don't want to just be stuck with a spread that doesn't work and not know what I'm doing. So that way I can have like a little detox <laughs> the next week and then um, if I need to tweak something on the next week that I experiment with, I can tweak it.
in this one I don't have a school section because I will be graduated by then and that's where I'm kind of nervous. I don't know how to function without school in my life yet <laughs> and I'm really sort of freaking out a little bit. I don't know how I'm gonna function. I mean I'm sure it'll be like nice for, oh, for a while but then I'm gonna miss school and I'm just uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not ready. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty excited with how this spread is gonna work for me because I've always wanted to try it. So even if it doesn't work, you know, at least I'll have that closure. And then for the last three days of May, I do have just little dailies because I didn't want to make a full weekly for those just three days and I don't like having two months in the same month, so it just gets confusing for me. And then I just have a couple little um, collections in the back. This one is things to do near me. Austin and I don't have a lot of money to go on date nights anymore and our schedules are kind of messed up so these are just things that I can either go do by myself or stuff that we can do together or stuff I can find to do with my friends. Um, Austin and I and a lot of my friends feel like we've exhausted all the options in this area to have fun. Um, but now that we're 21 we can go do a lot of other things so I just went online and I acted as a tourist and I went and I just found all these different things that we could go do um, either for cheap or free in our area and I forgot to put these little like lines in so I went back and fixed those and then on the spread that I accidentally forgot to record or I didn't realize it stopped recording <laughs> like the one through seven I totally it's not even in the video um I was originally gonna have those headers be green but then I just autopiloted the black for all the other ones and I didn't want it to look out of place so I just made them black And I wanted to try and make a monthly spread that I would actually go back and look at. Um, so hopefully with the monthly dashboard looking like that, it will actually be used. <laughs> and here are my super tips. I love these markers and that's all I'm going to say because I have a super tips review video that will be coming out very soon. Um, I just have to edit it and it may come out the week after this one or... Um, the week after that one. <laughs> Depends on how busy I am. Like I said, May is going to be busy between finals week and graduation, so it may not even be up until after my graduation. And in this shot, you can see my planning for May page. Um, like I said, I have an up close one on my Instagram that you can go look at so you can like see all the details and stuff that I wrote down in case you wanna try your own planning for page. I like to throw color in whenever I can. Sometimes I just autopilot to black and for this month, I just wanted a simple color scheme that I didn't really have to think about. And since it's getting warmer out and it's starting to turn into spring slash summer, I wanted green. And green is both an energizing and calming color for me, so I figured for May that would be a good idea. And sometimes little pops of color are really all you need. <laughs> Um, I see some bullet journal spreads and uh, although they're pretty, I think that if I used so many colors in them, I would just get overwhelmed. And this is me just adding in all the different moods um, next to my mood tracker because I forgot that little detail and I don't have all of them memorized yet. So I just added them in real quick.
This checker life check is in, is from my friend Ricardo at Bujo Boosted, so totally go check out his video. It's really helpful and I love filling it out every week. Also, before my super tips, I used to just use my stabilos for coloring in everything, and let me tell you, <laughs> these markers are a lifesaver. They are so fun and they color so smoothly, they're awesome. And like I said, pops of color. I didn't want a lot of color, just because I wanted it sort of simplistic, but also like artsy, because I am an artist. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just put in just some random colors of green here and there, just to sort of liven it up. And here is my flip through of May. I hope you enjoyed. I know this isn't like the best explanation video, um, but throughout May you'll see me posting on my Instagram about these pages um, and stuff like that, so go follow me there. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more bullet journal and bullet journal related videos, Please subscribe and hit the little bell to get notifications for whenever I upload and I will see you guys later. Bye!